Okay, so unfortunately I'm having to record this directly into Ableton because my uh, screen recorder does not do does not do stereo, which is a real pity because we're going to need stereo. Okay, so I'm working on a basic, very basic operator synth, taking the attack down to just remove some of the harshness. I'm going to show you what uh, the way I work with this. So if, obviously, first of all, this is what the delay sounds like in vanilla. This is literally just a basic delay. So left and right channels are synced and they are synced to the beat. So they're doing three eighths of a beat each. The first thing you need to do is decouple them, which gives you this um, stereo effect, where one is doing three eighths and one is doing four eighths. And then more importantly, you've got to take sync off. So now you've got independent time related. Now just to show you an extreme example of this, uh, I'm going to map them both to the LFO. So these are both going from 0 to 100. Um, I mean, what I like to do is have them going in opposite directions so you get something different, but this still is not really musically that useful, but you can see the, the dials are sort of rotating in opposite directions. It's quite interesting for an effect, and you can probably do something with this. You've got your settings just the way you like them. What I tend to prefer is to do them sort of quite low range, and so I'll do something like, say, 18 here to 23, and maybe 25 down to 20. Let's see what that sounds like. For some reason, the very first time you do it, you get that thing going on. But now you've got this sort of phasey effect going on. You can obviously change the impact of that by upping your dry wet, or upping your feedback. Oh, that's really... Sorry, it's really peaking a bit there. Still a bit. But that's still bit much to do that I would say. Uh, where this also becomes interesting is if you do things like jump. Uh, it's again it's not brilliant with these low figures but if you change them up a bit you get this little sort of saw thing going on I guess. And the other thing that's nice to fiddle around with with this is the modulation section. Now this again this has the best effect if you have it on jump mode. Um, if we change the rate up here a little bit and its effect on the filter and its effect on the time, you get this little, little TikTok thing going on. Where, where this uh, jump mode here is like, it's sort of when you change the wheel, the frequency jumps rather than repitching. If you don't repitch, take these off for a second. Here, I'll link them together for the sake of argument. Here it is. Never seen that before. There we go, that's better. So this is a really nice little effect. Again, you probably want to dial it back a bit. with ping pong too much for this. 
it does give you something but it doesn't really make enough difference to make it worthwhile obviously there's loads more you can play around with you can stick the map on the right um, let's change that to something a bit more again musically useful or at least so you get a nice little rhythmic thing going on there again almost want to Dial back the actual synth sound and just capture those little diggle things. There you go, you get something like that, that's really nice. Um, obviously, we can also map that to the time section instead. Um, it's a more subtle effect, probably. Maybe the time and the filter you want to make it a more broader range. So you can see here where well, you're getting the, the tick ticks when the time is higher but not when it's lower. So that gives oh that's a lovely swelling effect, I really like that. 